Congratulations uh, on your new vehicle. I just want to go over the structure of everything with you. The, here is your term, your rate, and your base payment. I want to let you know you can take delivery of the vehicle at uh, the base payment with approved credit, but based on the information you shared with me earlier, may not be the best option for you. Um, it's my job to go over with you all your options. Have any questions before I begin? No. Okay. By choosing the preferred option, you will receive a 48-month or 60,000-mile service contract. This would cover you similar to the new car factory warranty for 48 months or 60,000 miles and a $100 deductible to you. Your next is gap protection. Are you familiar with what that is? Uh, yeah, somewhat. So if your vehicle was ever totaled, the insurance company is going to come out and tell you, John, your car is worth $10,000. You might owe fifteen. dollars If you didn't have gap insurance, you would not only have to come out of pocket and cover the insurance deductible, but the excess balance of the bank as well. Next you have your road hazard with ultimate vehicle protection. This will cover you for five years or 60,000 miles against any damage to your tires or rims. So if you were driving to the mall to get some Christmas gifts and you ran over a nail in the parking lot, would cover your tires and rims. Also covers your windshield if there were any cracks or chips in it, they would repair those as well as any dings or dents around the Exit, uh, around the outside of the car that do not cause paint damage would be removed. And a zero dollar deductible to you. Next I have my maintenance program. This will allow you to pre-purchase both your 20,000 and 30,000 mile service. So there would be no out of cost, out of pocket cost for maintenance for you for the next three years. The next one here is key protection. This covers your key fobs for five years or 60,000 miles. If you were to ever lose one of your keys uh, when you were on vacation, you leave it in the hotel room and you realize when you get home you're, you're missing it, um, this will cover that key as well as any other keys on your keychain as well. Next I have theft protection, it's an eight digit code. They put it on it, all the non-visible services of the car, if the vehicle is ever stolen, you're, they give you up to a $2,500 benefit uh, towards the purchase of your next vehicle. And then lastly I have safe shield. It is a environmental protective coating. They put it on the outside in the interior of the vehicle. Protects the paint against things like acid rain, tree sap, uh, harsh detergents, oxidization, or fading, and the interior against any non-corrosive stain. Your payment options are here and here. Do you have any questions before I move on to the value option? No. Okay, great. Well, moving on to the value option, you're gonna receive similar coverage as with the preferred option. However, you would forfeit the safe shield so say you went up to the mountains skiing in the winter time and you left your car outside the resort and while you were gone it snowed about three feet and you came back and you had all the spots on your car from the salt uh, eating away the paint obviously you would then have to either get the car repainted which will put you out maybe two three thousand dollars and or when you traded in the car in a couple of years you would have to take a hit because the car would need to be repainted the basic oh, I'm swear, payment options are here and here. Uh, the, with the basic option, you will receive similar coverage as the value option. However, you would forfeit the theft protection. So imagine that same vacation up in the mountains. You leave your car outside the resort, and you go back out to the car with all your luggage when your vacation's over. You realize that your car has been stolen. The that protection would give you a $2,500 benefit towards the purchase of your new of your next vehicle. Your payment options are here and here. With the economy option, uh, you will receive similar coverage as with the basic option. However, you will forfeit both the maintenance program as well as the key protection. With the maintenance program, by forfeiting that, you would have to come out of pocket. Cost currently is $256. They might rise over the next couple years. This will allow you to purchase it at, as, as, at a subsidized cost of only $149. So you wouldn't be infected by any call, uh, rise in labor rates. And also by forfeiting the key protection, if you were to, again, I'll use the same vacation scenario. You leave a key in your, in your hotel room, you get all the way back home, you realize you can't start your car. So cover not only uh, that key fob, but all the other key fobs that were on your keychain that you, you left in the hotel room. Here are your payment options here and here. Do you have any questions before I ask you to select one? Uh, no. Okay, uh, which of these options works best for you and your family? Uh, I think I'm going to go with the base payment, if that's okay. Sure, if you can just initial here for me. 
All right, thank you. Now, John, uh, I've been doing this for a while, and uh, usually when my customers pick the base option, it's usually uh, for one of two reasons, either the way the items are grouped or the cost. Can I ask which one it was for you? Uh, definitely cost, I'm on a budget. Okay, well, I understand, obviously. Uh, I'm a consumer outside of this office myself. Um, can I ask you, John, which two of the products in the preferred option you see the most value in? Um, hmm. I'm going to say the gap and tire and wheel. Okay, so the gap insurance and the tire and wheel. The gap insurance is $10 a month and the tire and wheel is $12 a month. Uh, together they're $22 a month in payment. You can receive both of those coverages. Which one of these options works best for you? Uh, that's not too bad. I guess I'll go with uh, both of them. Great. The 